all the conversations you have in your teams will be organized in something called channels. We use channels to organize different conversation topics. Your channels are listed underneath the team names. And by default, there is at least one channel in everything called general. To add a new channel, just go to the name of the team you want to work with. Click on the button to the right of the team name, the one with the little three dots. This opens up this menu and choose Add Channel. First, we'll give the channel a name. We'll call this one Sample Channel. Now, you may add a description to help others identify what the channel is about. Then, this selection down here allows me to show this channel to members on my team list. But I do not want to enable this option for now. Then, I'll click Add. And I have this new channel underneath called Sample Channel. Any general chapter can happen in the general channel, but conversations specific to the Sample Channel project can happen in this new channel. And you can make as many channels as you want or as many projects as you want. This is why I recommend that you define your teams by groups of people. So we've made two channels. And over time, if some channels that you don't use very often, you can hide them. I'm going to hide this channel. So I'll just go to the button on the right of the channel name, click it, and click hide. Now, at first, it looks like nothing has changed. But you see, if I click on another channel, and as soon as that happens, now the channel is hidden. And now, it is tucked into this category called Hidden Channels. Of course, if I want to get into that hidden channel, I can click here and choose channel that I hid. Or if I want it to be not hidden anymore, I can click on the three dots of the channel name and click show. And it goes back to the normal list. And if the category for hidden channels is empty, it will disappear. And finally, you can delete a channel if you need to. Once again, go to the button with the three dots next to the channel name and choose delete this channel. Just be aware that you cannot delete a general channel. That one will always be there, but you can delete other channels. And this is similar to deleting a team. All of the messages that were shared in that specific channel will be deleted. So, you really need to make sure that you want to delete the channel. Then hit the button to confirm delete. And the channel will disappear. I'm not going to delete this channel for now, so I'll click Cancel. So that's channels and an important layer of organization for your team communication.